I mean, where I'm from, my estate's like Beirut back home. Like they'd petrol bomb you if you if you nick their parking space or something. <laughs> So guys, welcome back to the channel once again. Touching down from that beautiful little city, Chiang Mai City in Northern Thailand as always. I've come back to the brow of the mountain and we're gonna have a look at Hoi Kao Waterfall again. The last time I was here, I can't remember now, it must have been a year ago, two years ago, when I'd done a vlog here. And I thought I wanted to get out again today. So I thought we'd come up and check out the waterfall, see what's going on here, see how much water is about and see what it's like it might not even be open but i've just had a chat to somebody and they've said it's open so we're going to have a gander at the waterfall again guys put the old mask up caught a few people about for a weekday got all the flower ladies here always sweaty cap always nice ladies so we're going to take a walk up through got the lottery here everybody loves the lottery hello hello sweaty cab thailand, <laughs> thailand. <laughs> and got the song tail drivers all in good spirits the thais always are in good spirits it's just the miserable farangs that are always miserable <laughs> the thais are always upbeat but us farangs are always half a glass empty so it's looking like it's open Got loads of people walking up there, so happy days. Check this old motor out. It's an old E&E, don't know what it is. How's that D? That's in, I don't know. Someone would do that one up. It's an old boy. I think it's a that's in, I don't know. Somebody tell me. So yeah, the last time I was here, all these shops were open. So none of these are open now. It's all closed, which is a damn shame, right? Oh, it is closed. Yeah, the waterfall is closed. I thought it might be. Ah, that's a shame, right? Yeah. All boarded up. COVID-19 wrecks the day again. According to Hoi Kao waterfall closed from April 2021. So it has been closed for months. I've not been up here, see guys. The dreaded COVID strikes again. I had a feeling it would be closed. I'll just come up here on the off chance. I was in Niman anyway. So I thought I would check it out. So yeah, we can't go up there. So I'm gonna have to go down and we're gonna have to go somewhere else, guys. Gonna head on down and see what's happening down here, see somewhere we can check out outside the tourist police. Somewhere you don't really want to be, else you've lost something or something ain't right. So we're gonna head down one-handed. This is a little bit crazy. So I'm taking it nice and easy, my son. We're only at the brow anyway. Look at this guy, he's going up on his three-wheeler. Got Chiang Mai Zoo in there. I've never been in there and I never really want to go in there. I've heard stories about what goes on in there and yeah, I just don't really want to go in there. Um, I don't want to do vlogs in there, that's for sure. Maybe that will change sometime. I'm not going to rule it out. But um, yeah, what I've seen of about the Chiang Mai Zoo, I don't really want to do a vlog in there. But I'm not ruling it out. Maybe one day we will, we will see. I don't rule nothing out. So this is the urban park and it's still closed. If anybody remembers when I came up here to have a look as well, and it was closed then, still closed. It's a cool little park. See, it, it baffles me why they don't open this. You got the mall open down here, May and Moor, and you got a wide open space like the urban forest and the waterfall up here, all closed. I mean, I don't see the logic in it, do you? I don't really understand it, but that's how it is, and that's sign of the times, guys. So, yep, 
I won't be able to go to either of them. So I don't know what I'm going to do now. I'm probably going to go down to the university again and chill out at Ankau. I might have a chat about a subject that I was going to talk about at the waterfall. So we'll get around to it down here at Ankau. This is one of my favourite spots anyway. I mean, you can't get much more beautiful than Ankau Reservoir anyway. And maybe we can get to what the video is actually about today. I think the subject today is gonna start halfway through this video. Oh, I've just got to show you what it's looking like today. Always got to show you. I mean, you can't grumble about coming here, can you? Even if you came here every day look at it how could you say oh I don't want to be here today and forgot me out again like a fool so I'm not gonna stay stay out too long today's vlog was meant to be about a question I got a long time ago or a comment it was a comment that I wrote down and thought I will come back to that one one day they asked if I was running away from something in England and I thought that was a great subject for a vlog and that I could talk about. I thought about it long and hard over the, over the months. If anybody did write that comment, let me know because that comment stuck in my head for must be six months. It was a long time ago where I wrote it down. And you know, I thought a lot of people are running away from things, right? When they come to Thailand. And to be true to myself, I probably am running away from English society and the way of life. I mean, I suppose that's running away as well, right? You know, I, I read all your comments and a lot of you are the same as me. Yeah, and another comment was, um, you're only in Thailand because, because of England, because of the structure in England and how you earn money in England. And that's, that's true as well. That's true. England gave me the resources to be in Thailand. But at the same time, you have to take that leap as well. Many people have got them resources back home, but they just can't take that final leap. And that's where the kahunas come in, where you need a big set of kahunas to take that final leap. People have got all the money in the world and they still, they still can't leave that little island. It does take more than that just to come here. You need to, you need to know what you want to do as well. So, am I running away? I guess I am, in a way. It, does it mean you're running away if you don't really want to go home and you don't, you don't want to live in your country? Sometimes when I think you're running away, it sounds like, yeah, I'm running away. And another time it feels like, no, I'm not running away. I just want to be living in Thailand. I mean, when people emigrate, do they call it running away? Or have they just had enough back home? I, I don't really hate England. I hate the society and the image back home. And somebody pointed out to me, it's here in Thailand and it is. The Thais, the Thais have got image amongst themselves. Who's got the best car, who's got the best clothes and things like that. So it happens here probably just as bad as in England or even worse. It's just that because I'm a foreigner and I don't speak the language, you don't, you're not involved in that. You don't pick up on that. And yeah, so I'm not saying Thailand is perfect and here none of that happens because it does people here always want to look better than other ties you see it every day with the cars and with the money they got the boyfriends the girlfriends i could be anywhere not just thailand as a foreigner and you don't speak the language you're out of all that image from back home right wherever you are if you don't speak the language or you don't really connect a lot with the locals you could be anywhere and still lead a chilled life like that i just wasn't happy in england i'm not happy there that's i mean that's the most important thing in life isn't it other than health i think happiness health and having enough money to live your life even the way of life like in england now it, it wouldn't be like this no way there'd be screaming kids there would be you know mothers shouting swearing there would be you know groups of lads on the grass drinking stella and you just don't see that in Thailand, you don't. I mean, maybe you do in other places in Thailand, but 
in Chiang Mai. I've, I've told many people here, I've never seen children so well behaved as in Thailand. I mean, they must play up, all children play up. I mean, where I'm from, my estate's like Beirut back home. Like, they'd petrol bomb you if you, if you nick their parking space or something. And here, <laughs> here's probably the opposite. Here, they'd probably offer you in for dinner, eh? Hey, come on in. <laughs> Have some cow soy. You know, that's the difference. That's, see, I've, that's hit the nail on the head. That's the difference. Just that, what I've said there. That in England, they would, you know, everybody's nosy. Everybody wants to know everybody's business and everybody wants to get irate. It probably happens here as well, but not so much, I don't think. Nowhere near as much. We at the Bridge of Love. The Bridge of Power, the Bridge of Dreams. It's quiet up here today. You can take the mask off, there's no one here. Absolutely beautiful. It was meant to be a waterfall vlog. But look, you got a rapid over there. That's, that's a mini waterfall, right? So we're gonna walk up around. I actually found the right route around now. It took me two years to find the right route around. So my next question to you guys is, how do you feel about your country? I mean, obviously you watch my vlogs because you come to Thailand or you're interested in coming here or you've had enough back home and you want to come here. Does, does way of life get you down back home? And Thailand is just that, you know, that, that relief when you get here, that way of life here. I mean, that's, that's what it is for me anyway. It probably comes across like I hate it back home, but I hate living there, but I love my country. It's an amazing country. I'm always proud to say I'm from England. Whew. Ah, oh, nice bit of shade. I don't think I'm going to walk all the way around. There's no point. This is the best area down here anyway. Just gonna go down on the front here and have a look. Lovely breeze. Dead quiet up here today. Nothing happening. Nothing happening at all. Got the old place to myself virtually. Got a few people over there wandering around. I mean, I'm sure there's people here on the run, all sorts of crimes. I reckon Thailand's littered with that, don't you? Where people have run over here and on the run, never going back, keeping on the low, <laughs> never to be seen again. Brand new life. But your life is all about where you're happiest, right? You've always got to be where you're happy. I've wasted too many years kicking about back home. Ifing and ahhing. Oh, I want to do this, but oh, I'm too happy in my bubble. That's what happens, isn't it? You get too comfortable in your little bubble, then you don't end up doing nothing for years. You know, people that are not here, they think, oh, they think it is like Afghanistan here at the minute. I mean, does this look like Afghanistan? Does this look like a city in turmoil? Not really. We've got the same problems as all you guys have got. We've got the same big problem beginning with C, the big COVID. It's not a problem with just Thailand it's a problem with everywhere there's still lots of things to do in Thailand you can still do things I mean today was not a great advert for that going to the park closed going to the waterfall closed <laughs> but I mean, come on there's still loads of things you can do here I mean in my last vlog I was saying how oh, the high season's over but today I sort of want to flip that and say you can still come here people you can still come here no problem 
it's still a great place to come in my opinion if you live your life chilled out Sunday, Monday, happy days Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days Thursday, Friday, happy days The weekend comes Dan, 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 dan These days are ah, These days are ah, Happy days Goodbye grey skies, hello blue oh, I used to love happy days Anybody used to watch happy days? Absolute amazing, Fonzie and what's the guy in it that went on to be a great director? Richie was it? Film director now, right? Anyway, I'm gonna head back now, waffling on about all kinds of stuff. It was just a little chat about um, am I running away from something in England and what you guys think as well. Um, you can hear that? Everywhere I go. Ed Strimmer's out. You couldn't make it up, man. You couldn't make it up. No matter where I go, someone breaks out the angle grinder or the edge trimmer. No matter where. <laughs> There's loads of them. Let's get out of it. This mic's gonna be picking it up big time. One, two, three, four, five, Six, six edge strimmers, all on my vlog. Couldn't make it up, man. Not just one, six. <laughs> they, oh, they test us sometimes. The noise does test me in Thailand. It's always noise wherever you go. Happy days, Monday, Tuesday, happy days. Look at that. Them two trees right on the top. There's two trees just standing above anything else right on the top. I just got the urge to go up and chop them two down. Right, I'm gonna get off now, guys, because my Swede is absolutely burnt, burnt to a crisp. I'm gonna take the shady parts all the way back home, get my coffee, chill out for the rest of the day, and live the Chiang Mai life. You know how it is, people. Thanks for tuning in as always. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. Another little look round, another yap about a subject. Are long-term travellers running away from something or do you just want a different type of life? It's a bit of both, I suppose. But yeah, it's good to have a chat about it and a chin wag and a good old waffle. So I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Hope you're safe and sound as always. And I will see you in the next one. So take it easy, man. Take it easy.